I think you know, we, we, we thought we got hurt in transition, especially, uh, you know, we got hurt in transition. We gave up a ton of offensive rebounds, and we fouled in the second half a lot. You know, that, that was uh, too much, because otherwise our defense was pretty solid. We, uh, you know, you take away the rebounds, uh, or some of them take away some of the fouls, and you hold them still to 106, it's not bad. So lots to work on, but obviously disappointed in the offensive rebounds we gave up and some of the transition buckets. And just kind of touching that a little bit, but despite, you know, getting hit a little bit of everywhere from them, you were still in it for most of the game, just outside the defense. Is there anything else that you think kind of kept you in it? You know, I, th I thought we, we uh, you know, our offense got too stagnant at times. Got to play early offense, quick decisions, move the ball. Uh, they're, they're an excellent, you know, we knew this. We scouted them and, and knew they're, they're excellent uh, back the paint team that, that'll zone up behind the ball and, and make it difficult. So you got to move it and make quick decisions and play uh, early offense. Steve, just rotation-wise, it looked like you ran the starters a little bit deeper in the first quarter and then started the second with a more defensive-minded group. Was that in response to kind of their style or just something you wanted to look at yourself? No, just something I think we're looking at ourselves. Uh, Steve, there was a period there in the second quarter where James just really looks like uh, he was taking control of things and, and you know, playing like he did last year with a lot of force. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I think James is showing signs of, uh, of, of getting his, his rhythm back. Um, you know, like I keep saying, it's not, it's not an easy process, so it's going to take him some time. We have to be patient with him, but he definitely had some, some incredible stretches tonight to build on. Steve, you might have been asked this before, but uh, you know the the fact that this team keeps giving up more shots, more second chance points. What does that say about your physical level and and where it's at right now? Yeah, we it's uh, we've talked about it a lot. It's uh, an Achilles heel for us, um, giving up offensive rebounds, and uh, we got to keep working. And you know, it's got it's just got to continue to be a priority. But obviously tonight, uh, 17 is way too many. How, how do you? counter that is it just a, a, a commitment to again boxing out gang rebounding why how do you counter what more physical teams like Miami are able to do it's just got to be a priority you know you just got to want it and you got to make it a priority we can't be you know leaning down the other end of the court we all got to be coming back in and trying to gang rebound and you know we're going to give up size to a lot of teams and uh, you know it's important for us to be really diligent and get in there and, and not give away, his, um, you know, a bunch of possessions where we're all leaning out to offense before we cut the ball. There were stretches where it seemed like both teams were having a difficult time getting into a flow. The physicality of the game, everybody's somewhat adjusting to it. What has it been like as far as the communication with players on the floor, the officials, in terms of understanding how they're calling these games? Yeah, I mean, it's a big, you know, a huge difference from the way the game's been called in, in, in the, the previous few years. So. Um, everyone's going to need some time to kind of figure it out and, and get used to it. You know, you can talk about it, you can show it, but uh, you, you, when you're out there playing 100 games a year and you're used to it one way, it, it just takes time. Obviously, Steve, the, the deficit in second chance points isn't always going to be this great, but from what you're saying, uh, are you saying that this is more of a mindset than it is a personnel issue? No, I mean, obviously, the personnel. I mean, if we had uh, a bunch of uh, leading rebounders, it wouldn't be an issue. But, you know, since we don't have the personnel that's just naturally going to clean up the glass, you know, we got to all come in and gang rebound. You, gotta, you can't have two, three guys, you know, uh, backpedaling down the other end of the floor watching the ball um, get banged around in there. We got to come back and, and help and hit. And, um, you know, tonight we got to. Uh, you know, definitely got uh, out-rebounded in a big way, and that was really what, what was the difference in the game.